Welcome to tutorial number 175, the last tutorial in this series, Sheet Metal in SolidWorks. It's about making the drawing for your sheet metal products to be sent for manufacturing. So before starting with this tutorial, I assume that you already attended the SolidWorks drawing section. If not, I will put the link for that series in the description below. In this tutorial, we will make a drawings for our previous product. We made, we made it in the previous tutorial. We made this fully manufactured power supply and we will make drawing for it to send it for manufacturing. So we will see the difference between the, the standard drawing, which we saw before and the sheet metal drawings. We will make as well the standard drawings then make a flatten drawing and we'll talk about the bend table and punch table so here we have our power supply from the previous tutorial which contain of two parts so first let's make a drawing for the top part and for this part we'll make it from the part mode, open part, and for the next drawing, we will make it from the assembly mode. So we have our top part over here, and as we learned before, to make a drawing, go there, make drawing from part or assembly. And here we will choose A3, the most popular one, click OK. And here we get the sheet paper. And if you notice to the right, you will have a flattened pattern. So this is new for a sheet metal. We didn't see that in the solid products. So let's first make the, the standard views find the front plane and make the right plane and the top plane and then the isometric click ok we are already familiar with these views we make we can make some arrangement to make a place for the flattened view so now we have the basic drawings over there and they are half the size of the original size because as you see there half one to two now let's go again to the drawings and pick the flatten pattern so this is the most important view of the sheet metal drawings you can also make it make from it a front and top view but for in this case it is not necessary because all we see is a flat sheet of metal so now here if you zoom in to the flattened pattern you will see the direction of bending here are the bending lines which are very important and here we have as well the other bending lines and the information on them. So it may a little bit confusing and not clear to see. We can manage it, for example, changing the size to make to double the size or the actual size. And it is actually depends on which is better to be sent, for example, there is a way to send all the views, the standard views and the flattened views. For example, the reference will be the flattened view and to make it easier also sending the standard views. But it might be small and difficult to see. We can try to change the size to one by one but as well in this case it will be 
the sheet of paper will be small to handle the views. So one way to solve it, for example, we can delete the flatten view and make it in a spreadsheet. And here we can have only the standard view, the front, the right, and the isometric. And we can define them by adding dimensions. We can add dimension automatically if we go to Annotation, model item, and select the view. And here, pick the first one and second one. You can add more and click OK. Yes. And here you will get the dimensions which we made. Here you have all the dimensions. It is an easy way to add dimensions. And again, we can add it for the next view click OK and here we have the required dimension for the right view and the last view click OK So to deal more about drawings and so on, as I said, you can attend the drawing section again. We already discussed it about the basic drawings. So here is the first standard drawing, which can be additionally attached to the flattened pattern and sent to manufacturing. So start a new drawing. OK, and pick A3, and for the part, we need the part 2, and check the A flatten, and here you get the part over there. So as we said before, we have the bending lines in there and the information required in order to manufacture this part. Also, you can make it bigger, for example, because we have enough space. We can make it two or we can make it one. So now it is easier to see and more. So you can save this drawing and attach the second one with it, which we made in the beginning. So this is one way. You have the flattened pattern and you have the standard drawings. So it can be helpful in that case. For the next part, we can see another way. We can make only the flatten view and attach instead the punch and bend tapers. So that might be more accurate and easier to see. And let's go back and here I have the standard views. So now let's go back to the assembly. And we will make a drawing from the assembly mode. First, go to New, Make Drawing from Part Assembly. Select A3, OK. And here, you see that we have only the assembly. But we are interested to make drawings for the base chassis. To locate it, go to View Layout, Model View, double click on Part 1, and here you will see 
what you can attach to that drawing. We need the flat pattern, of course, beside the standard views. And here you can change the view that you want. So click over there. Here we can add top view and here a side view in order to make it easier that there is a forming tool in the middle and here we can see the shape of it. And as we said, we have only the flattened pattern so we can increase the side to be one by one. If, we, if it didn't change, go to sheet meter scale and select one. Click OK. So there is the bending lines are shown over there. If you click on the bending line, you get the information and you can also add more information. You see the direction of bending, the angle of bending and the bending radius. You can add also more information to this bending line. If you click on the view, go to the left, here you will see the parameters you may need. So for example, the bend direction is already selected, supplementary angle and the bend radius. Here you can add bend order. You see the bend, this is the first bend, the second bend and so on. That can be handy. Click OK. And if for some reason it is not clear to see from the paper, so it can be easier to make it in separated table. If you click on the right mouse, there in the bottom you will see tables, or you can access that, or in annotation tab, tables, and we are interested in the bin table. And here are the format you can choose from. Click OK. And here you will see the information on a table, which might be easier to see. And here you have the tag, direction, angle, and the inside radius. For example, A, you will see the annotation is over here. So you can let's select all the annotations and make an arrow click OK and here you can see where is A and B and C and so on so this way maybe easier so it depends in which way you can see it better so here we have g and e and so on and here is the fixed face which is the base plate and one more thing in this flattened drawing we have a forming tool which used in the middle we use an impulse to create the punch in the middle of that sheet. So we can show the information related to this forming tool by showing the punch table. Go again to table, select punch table, and here you will specify the X and Y axis to locate the place of the forming tool. So for the X axis, I will select the bottom edge and Y axis, I will select the first edge over here. So we have the origin point 
should be over there and the face will be this face so this is the easiest way and click ok and here you get the punch table related to that forming tool so the tag is A1 so the works automatically recognize that punch or forming tool and the location related to the origin point which we made zero and zero over there y location angle and quantity one so you can add dimension for that go to smart dimension and to make it easier to know and you can add dimension for the rest of the parameters you can go to model item select first two options click ok click yes and here you will see all the dimensions shown in the drawing or you can add them in a separated sheet with the standard views so there are many options in order to reach to the final manufacturing chip so for now I will go to annotation and hide the dimensions for now and we can add them or show them when we need.